In this video, we are going to discuss about release and deployment management under service transition. So what is release and deployment management? In one liner, it is responsible to bring in the change carefully. So it is responsible for implementing the change carefully. So coming to the objectives of release and deployment management, the main objective is implementing the authorized changes as per the change plan provided us by the CAB advisory board. So and also it plans, designs, build and test and install the hardware and software components. So and also it maintains the skills and knowledge transfer to enable customers and users to optimum use of service and also operations and support staff to run and support that service. So these are the three main objectives comes under the release and deployment management and these play a key role in release and deployment management. So coming to the key concepts, what are the key concepts of release and deployment management? The first one is release, second one is release units, third one is release identification and fourth one is types of release and last one is release methods. So what are these key concepts we will be discussing in detail in the next videos.